Hannah, it's a Monday, and because I have no original ideas of my own, I'm just gonna do a tag this video. Also, I'm really sorry if the video is kinda shaky. I didn't feel like getting a setup where I could just put the camera down so I'm holding it. So yeah, alright, here we go with this tag. This is the Get Your Freak On tag, and it's 15 weird facts. So number one. What is the nickname only your family calls you? I would have to go with, my dad will sometimes call me Maggie Moo. And that's about it, cause I mean, the only other nickname I have is like Meg and everybody uses that. Number two, what's a weird habit you have? And um, I think it's pretty obvious. I crack my shoulder all the time. Like, it's not even a normal thing. Like, nobody cracks their shoulder, and here I am, just, like, doing it all the time. Three is, do you have any weird phobias? Um, so in a previous video I said I wasn't really afraid of anything. I thought about it, and that is a total lie. Um, I have this really weird phobia where I can't, like, look outside at night because I'm afraid somebody's gonna be looking in at me. I don't know if that's a thing. If you know the name for that phobia, please tell me, but yeah, that's a thing. I'm also afraid of going by mirrors if it's anywhere close to midnight because of the whole Bloody Mary thing that people always talked about when we were children. Like, I realize it's not real, and yet somehow my brain is like, you're gonna look in the mirror and see Bloody Mary. Number four is what's a song you secretly love to belt and blast when you're home alone? And all of them. It's not even a question. I'm not picky. I will blast any song and sing along if I know the words. Number five is what's one of your biggest pet peeves? I have several. Okay, first of all, if you are cooking something in the microwave and you stop the microwave before it's done and you don't clear it, I hate you. Because then it just stays with like .01 seconds or something or not 0.01 seconds, 0.01 something. It just stays at like one second and you can't see the time that's usually on the microwave display. So then you have to look at a different clock and it's just so much hassle. Another thing I really hate is when people open my windows. It, I think it goes along with the paranoia of like someone's going to be looking in at me. It's just do not open my windows. Only I can open my windows. Especially if I like haven't woken up yet or I'm in the shower and I'm going to be coming in and changing soon. Like, I don't want those windows open while I am changing. Uh, number six, what's one of your nervous habits? I pop my knuckles. I don't know if that's a nervous habit, but I do it just because. Also, I bite my lip a lot. So I don't know if that's nervous or I'm just annoyed because they're always chapped. Uh, number seven is what side of the bed do you sleep on? And I have a twin bed, so there's not really a definite side. I'm just sprawled out all over the place. Number eight is what was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? And I can't really tell you which was my first. It's two possibilities. I have a puppet that's named Monkey because I'm very original. And then I have a really big tiger that's called Tigy, and yeah, those were my first two stuffed animals. I don't know which one came first. Number nine is, what do you always order at Starbucks? And I can rattle it off right now. I get a tall cream-based frappuccino with one pump caramel, two pumps mocha, with caramel and chocolate drizzle on the top. It's a base off of Nanalu's Ventimiglia, and I don't get the espresso because I don't need that in my life. And then I also um, don't get a grande because those things are big. I've also heard there's a drink that you can order that's based off a Harry Potter drink that probably next time I go to Starbucks in like a holiday season, I will be getting it. It's butterbeer if you know what that is, but I will be getting it for sure. Number 10 is what's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? And, <laughs> I don't practice any, um, except showering and, like, brushing my teeth, so, 
can't really help you there, but you should shower and brush your teeth, and I do practice those. 11 is which way do you face in the shower? And I never knew people faced different ways. Um, I guess I face like my back has the water hitting on it, unless I need to like wash my face or something. 12 is do you have any weird body skills? And yes, I can touch my tongue to my nose. Um, I can roll my tongue. I can kind of do the three leaf clover, but I had to like train myself to do it. So it's really like not a good looking three leaf clover with my tongue. I don't even know if I just did it. Who cares? Um, I also am like extraordinarily flexible when it comes to butterfly stretch. That's a stretch where you like put your feet together and try to bring your heels as close to your body as possible and try to get your knees to hit the floor. Like my heels are like as close as like they can get and my knees are still touching the floor. So I am ridiculously flexible in that way, but not in any other way. The 13 is what's your favorite comfort food or food that is bad but you love to eat it anyway? And it's basically all the junk food. I'm obsessed with ice cream, so that would have to be my favorite. Um, but I gave it up for Lent, so I haven't been eating it recently, and it's driving me insane. Because you know what has ice cream in it? Milkshakes. And I love milkshakes. And I've been to Portillo's, and I always get a milkshake at Portillo's. And I couldn't get one, and it made me so mad. I got lemonade instead, which was pretty good but I wanted a milkshake. Number 14 is what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? And I feel like I cycle through exclamations a lot. Um, recently, I've kind of gotten out of saying YOLO. Um, I, like exclamations, I say, um, heavens to Murgatroyd and, um, what's the other one? It's from Robin Hood. Oh, criminally! Yeah. So the phrase I always say is from Robin Hood, and it's like, gosh darn it, or something like that. And I say criminally, um, and nobody ever understands the reference, so it's always fun to explain it to people, but I love saying it. And number 15 is time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? And it's pretty much sweatpants or athletic shorts and a hoodie or a t-shirt. Occasionally I will actually put on pajama pants, but that is a rare occasion. So that's all the questions for this tag. Um, they really didn't get that freaky, so I was expecting worse. So I will see you on Friday and hopefully tomorrow. And I don't know why I said hopefully tomorrow. I should see you tomorrow. Anyway, bye!